for the today? missing child, Jada Justice. Oh, okay. She got kidnapped at this gas station right here. We've been passing around to gas stations and like grocery stores and been walking door to door in the neighborhood and passing them out. And uh, just like I said last night, you know, all, all I want is Jada's safe return. You know, I'm not out to try to prosecute nobody, you know, whoever's holding her. I'm not trying to do nothing like that, cause them harm or, you know, anything, any problems in their life. You know, all I'm asking if they could just, if they got to drop off at a fire station, library, police station, just drop off at a somewhere that somebody could get to her and start identifying and bring her back up, uh, back home to me. Mother's cousin, yeah. But even though it's a relative, you don't believe her story? No, I don't believe it because it don't, it don't check out. It don't check out to me. It don't seem right, you know. It's like, why would you park on one side of the building with a child in there to run in and get some milk and, you know, cigarettes, and you, all you had to do is pull up in the front, lock the doors and run inside or whatever the case may be. You don't believe it's I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Myself, I don't believe it because there's too much stuff that, you know, why are you going to park on one side of the building when it's raining outside, pouring rain, as, you know, if you got to go in the store and get some milk, why would not you park in the front and run in the house and grab, you know, grab the milk and everything? And why would you leave the doors unlocked so somebody could grab a child out the car? 